C2, is it? Quadriceps, knee extension. And I mentioned that we want the different heads of the quadriceps to have a balanced uh, pull across the knee. So one way to check that is with her as close to the edge of the table as comfortable. I'm going to come over just another inch or two, Kathleen. Just so, yeah, great. So we can keep the knee as aligned as we can. You go ahead and straighten your knee. And come on down. And do that again. Straighten your knee. And come on down. Now, I can get a hold of those different heads in the quadricep. And come around if you can't see. Feel free to position yourself. Straighten gently as I get a hold of the different heads of the quadricep. And especially to let your leg down, I can feel which strands are tighter on her and help them release. She has a, a tight line that runs uh, lateral right in front of the ITT. So it would be more like vastus lateralis would be her, her line of tightness. Yep, you keep keep straightening and especially releasing. Most of the release happens on the on the bend. How are we doing with pressure? Good. And straighten. And bend. And again. Is that okay? She gets to release, she gets to let it go to uh, do the release. She gets to be in control of how quick she releases, how much happens. And I just am the fulcrum that she gets to organize around. So in this case, I'm thinking separation between quadriceps and ITT. And we got a little spot there that's kind of intense, huh? Still OK? Yep. So her breathing's open, her back's easy. Again, since it's the medial side that ends up on most people being weaker, this helps the, that outer side stay long to balance that the softness along the inside. For more, it's the case with most people. All up this, this line here on her. Now you can, similarly, you can work the medial side too, if that's the one that feels tighter. But it's not the case on her, and it's not the case on most people. OK, you can come back to the center.